little high, I'm a little high, I'm a little high, I'm a little high. What is going on? What's up, everyone? What do we got going on today? Segments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We came up with some segments. Yeah. They're pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take an ayahuasca trip to wrap my head around what a segment is. Apparently, it's just a part of a podcast. <laughs> where things are designated to happen, mm-hmm. right? And you can do anything. I can be like, hey, here's a segment. And, you know, I just like pull out my prolapsed anus. <laughs> and I'm like, the segment is called prolapsing. How did you prolapse this week? I'm really confused about what they are, yeah. but that's okay, right? You can make anything a segment. It's kind of like a bit. But what is a bit? That's the thing. That I'm really unsure of these days. The more I do comedy, (laughs) I mean heavy. If you're in audio, audio shout out, audio shout out, audio shout out. (laughs) Yes, that was actually in a minor key. You didn't know it until the fourth note. (laughs) Audio shout out. What just happened? The lights changed. Did we not start or did we start? We started. Oh, oh fuck. Well, people are going to say something. How is this going to be the number one podcast charted if it Wait, doesn't have the, the same light lighting the whole episode? We have to... Do you want lighting behind you? Should we, yes, maybe. Is I don't it, know. Ah! It's okay. We we forgot to put the light okay, on Okay, fine. For those who are listening... This is what's happening we in like, the studio. No, I'll keep it going. I'll keep it... No, keep dude. It we're, we'll, we'll, uh, a little... You know what? We're raw here. We are so okay? raw. We are raw here. Sometimes... We don't start with the correct lighting on. Sometimes. So, and now it's on. And, and look at the difference it made. Mm-hmm. Again, for those who are listening, let's just say a little bit behind the scenes, we are moving around with the lighting. Ryan just <laughs> shot a spotlight beam into my left eye. <laughs> when people are like, don't look at the eclipse, and you look. <laughs> they tell you as a kid, don't look into the sun. You're like, well, now I'm going to look into the sun. Yeah. I'm going to see what that's about. And it hurts. Not to brag, I'm a liberal. So global warming is number one on my list Mm. of things to talk about. And that's why I didn't get a straw today. So Mm. I just, you know, I get confused when people choose to hurt the environment. Mm. I say as I get Uber Eats every single night (laughs) comes in the largest plastic tote bag I've ever seen in my life. It's a tote bag that I save and I say if I collect enough of these, I can make a bassinet Mm -hmm. out of these tote bags. They are so strong. They are so, but I'm like every single time go puff. I know I was going off, going puff off Mm -hmm. about go puff, go off, go off, Mm -hmm. go puff, going off. I was going puff. Going puff. About go puff. <laughs> I was going puff. About go puff. But to be fully honest, their bags that they come in, they'll give a, a bag this big. Mm-hmm. This big. Paper. All paper. A bag this big. Show us the bag. Show us the bag that you have right next to you. Look at this bag. Put it oh. Put it in the studio. This is our first guest. It's heavy. This is our first guest. A fucking go puff bag. Here. Put it right here. Literally. Hey. Hey, dude. What's up? Why are you so fucking huge? Talk. Talk into the microphone. Oh, now you're shy? Shut up, dude. Like, you come over, you're like, no, I got everything. He, that's it. This is my impression of a go puff guy. If you ever date one, go puff guy. He's like, dude, I carried so much today. And I'm like, oh, really? This is what you carried inside? But they act a big act. Fuck you, go puff. Okay, new segment, going puff. <laughs> They're just so big, and that's what's going on going pop. right now. Okay, fresh drag bags. Fuck you, bitch. Chill. Okay, go puff is like you can't. You guys can't. If you're listening audio, you can't see. But the go puff guy, the go puff bag is like being stopped. Seriously, no. It's not, like it's not funny because you have nothing to say, but you're acting like you do. That's the problem. Yeah. Look, okay. I don't know. I don't know. Can we get him out? Because I'm I'm, yeah, I'm getting annoyed at this yeah. point and I just don't feel like he I'm understands like the vibe of the show. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, oh my God. It's like you let people into your space and they just take it up. Mm-hmm. They take it up mm-hmm. and you're filled with air. Mm-hmm. All right? So you can hang out, obviously, mm-hmm. but don't make a fucking bust about it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't stop going puff. (laughs) All right, so here's what's going on, you guys. We don't know what's going on. We're doing segments. 
what do we got? What do we got? We got a guest coming in? Uh, we, you said, well, I'm quoting you when you say you have all the connections. You said, I have all the connections. Don't worry about it. So I thought you were, um, we need to, should we get a guest? You guys didn't get a guest? Don't you book the guests? Um, <laughs> I don't. You did have that paper bag earlier. Well, that's not a guess. Like, uh, he was just around. Oh, Gopal was just around. Yeah. Okay, don't, like, okay. don't know. He's like not. Oh, no, shit. Seriously, shut up. Okay, now he's saying that he, I asked him to be a guest. No, I did not ask you to be a guest. Okay. I have guests. Do we have guest books other than Gopal or no? Um, I guess not. Should we go? We could go find somebody. Well, Ryan. Yeah, we'll Ryan. We'll See if <laughs> Just quickly. Who? <laughs> I don't know. Anybody. Anybody. Okay. So maybe we don't have a guest. All right. So whatever, baby. <clears throat> Who cares? Who cares? I'm the guest. All right. So we came into Stu today. We panicked. No one wants to be on my podcast. And that's totally fine. I mean, I get it. I'm a weird freak of nature, maybe. <laughs> but. <laughs> or maybe I'm not. And maybe I'm not a freak of nature enough. Lean into that freak. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm a freak, yeah. And you know I want it bad. Want it bad. Oh, none of you watch The Idol? That's weird. All right, so we got a couple segments, I suppose. What do we got first? What do we got first? What do we got first? We invented segments to keep people on their toes and to tell people in the industry what we have when they ask what we have. We say, we they say, they say you know, you see an agent from an agency you don't work at. He's like, oh, you got segments? Yeah. Yeah, we got segments. <laughs> All right, so we got one called Maddie Gories. We're just warming up the brain fluids here with this one. Caroline shouts out any sort of category. I just scream something back and you yeah. guys can listen, play along. Maybe it gets harder as we keep going. Let's rock and freaking roll. <gasps> do you want me to choose the letter? Maybe we'll just do general first one okay. just to get things moving. Sure. Fast food franchise. Mm, canes, Raising Canes. Been there, done that. Had it for the first time recently <laughs> in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Was it as good as people say? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Slate of gold. I still think about it. That's how you know. It was the 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 Bread. um the breading on the chicken was uh, you know, KFC is a little too thick for me with mm -hmm. the breading. Mm -hmm. Canes, you can like feel the chicken. I don't know. It's like more of like a <laughs> not a cornflake, but you know, like sort more of a lighter. Yeah. Bad. One more thing about raising canes, the sauce is like a little bit of a Cajun. <laughs> so it's got a little to it. The black pepper. <laughs> so I went in thinking, seeing the sauce, thinking, oh, it's like a chipotle mayo. Everyone's talking about raising canes. I'm like, it's like a chipotle mayo, yeah. right? Because I just see the sauce. I'm like, it looks just like a no first dip in, which I do with a little fry. I go, that is not chipotle mayo. Mm -hmm. That is, is not it? chipotle mayo. This is something else and I'm going to need for my cups. Mm -hmm. At Raising Canes, that's my only problem with Raising Canes. They give you a cup literally this big of the sauce. Oh, it looks, it's like savory. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Got a lot of spices in there. But I guess it's because they're from Louisiana. It's my Creole accent. <laughs> hey, bonjour, bonjour. I actually don't know how Creole sounds, so I'm not trying to be offensive, just being an idiot. Anyway, um, okay, next category. The next one is an airline. Airline, 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 airline. Delta. <laughs> Why did it take me so long to say something? Delta. <laughs> Delta. overdriver, you flying Delta. <laughs> yes, drop me off at Sky Priority, honey. I know I've had many people advise in my life not to talk about money, but whatever. I travel a lot for my job. I am gold. It's not even that cool to say. No, I'm gold as of this year. So I'm gold already, but I'm gold for next year as well. Yeah. So that means by, I shouldn't be talking about this. People don't want to, people comment. Ugh. It was cool <laughs> until she talked about her status with Delta. I don't want to know that. I want to hear about how she's struggling in life. Okay, how am I struggling? Um, My cat threw up this morning. Oh my God. Yeah. I don't know because she'd be eating pretty normally, bro. And like, I don't know, like, yesterday, like, we have these delectable tubes, you know, for, like, 
And it's got like a, a liquid version of, you know, like <laughs> chicken or tuna. <laughs> One of them is like tuna shrimp combo. And so yesterday I get <laughs> I gave it the, uh, the chicken one. I never, I ain't never seen her eat the chicken one. So I thought maybe, like, her tummy don't get along with chicken. Because I know for a fact that her food don't have chicken in it. <laughs> so I'm trying to be better about the... <laughs> My accent is unraveling because I was trying not to be offensive. Then I started panicking. So that was that. I like to do an accent that's so, like, whatever enough that you can't even pin it down. They're like, what? <laughs> They're like, what was that? I'm like, Albanian? <laughs> Duh. And then people are like, I don't know where that is. <laughs> Maybe we should get a map of that. Should we get a map for the wall? Mm. Let's get a map for the wall. A big one, like school, classroom. But should we make it just the United States? Or maybe North America? Because I go to Canada a lot, but the whole world is pretty big. What, Ryan? What, do I look bad? You can tell me. <laughs> what am I stressed about lately? My appearance. Whatever, I'll take my hair down and I'll whip I it back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip it. I whip my hair back. I whip it real good. Hey, yo, you don't know who I am, baby. We don't have a guest. What do you want me to say? Are people going to be mad or are people going to be into it? <laughs> who knows? Who cares? What is it? What is it, my deal? We're hanging out. Yeah. We're hanging that's, out. That's how low we've had to. We're like, just hang out. We're just hanging out. Okay, do another category. I okay. can't forget we're playing a game. I know. Well, we're the, I guess my vape. Hotel. Ah! Oh, you were hiding it this whole time! <laughs> you fucking bitch! <laughs> the pillow has once again betrayed me! There's a weed vape under here, too. Oh, really? What the hell? The crack. Bitch. You better fucking keep cool. <laughs> The next one is hotel. Hey, Ramada. 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 Is it Ramada or Ramada? Ramada. Ramada. Oh, dude, I went to a sweet 16 there once oh at, at the ro local Ramada when I was in high school. We all had to dress up. My boyfriend was like, oh, we just had to dress up for homecoming. I was like, bitch, you should be honored. That I bring you. My boyfriend in high school hated me. <laughs> I never told you about him, Ryan. My first boyfriend. Did I ever tell you about him? My first serious boyfriend. <laughs> Although looking back, it's like, dude, you were 15 and 16. But at the time, I was like, <laughs> I'm going to marry him. He hated me. How do you think that? Why did he hate me? Because I was nasty and annoying. <laughs> That's why. Because I was nasty, annoying. I dressed weird. I lived in a weird house only with my mom. I keep harping on about that, but dude, I think he thought I was weird. <laughs> and I called him all the time. That's nice. No, it's not. Because I feel like sometimes he would be like, don't tell her I'm here to his mom. Because I called every night. No, it was bad. Like, <laughs> it was insane. But he would never tell. I'd be like, do you not like me? And he'd be like, no, I like you. <laughs> Like, wow, convincing. Yeah. Like, stop, yeah, I like you, okay? <laughs> he hits you, he's like, I like you! Get off, seriously. You're on top of him, he's like, get off! Stop, I like you. Anyway, but we were kind of like, um, we fuck, we were not, we did everything but fuck. Um. Yeah, so it was kind of one of those relationships that, um, ew, I should not even be talking about this. It was high school. I don't know where this man is at all now. I just want to tell you guys, he was six foot freaking five. And it might have been the biggest dick I've ever had in my life. <laughs> it might have been the biggest dick I've ever had in my life. And yes, I need to be an auctioneer. Secondly, and I know people are like, but you were like young. No, these hands have been my hands since a young age. And that's the biggest dick I've ever had in my life. It sucks though, because... Dicks after that, it's like, you ain't ever gonna be him. <laughs> you ain't never gonna be my freshman boyfriend. I shouldn't say that though. Is that weird? Other people remember if you hooked up with someone when you were a teenager? People remember you when you were a kid. Ew. Uh, I would hope they blocked it out as a trauma response. Yeah. I would hope you would be polite enough to block out sex with me. 
Sex with me so disgusting You won't want to remember What my juices taste like Sometimes I forget to shower I'm ca- I was just trying to rhyme Just trying to rhyme Okay, I don't even know where that was going I blacked out It's not true at all mm-hmm. What do you say, a different category? Okay. Are people having fun or are people freaking out? I think it's fun Book a guest! <laughs> I'll show you a guest Again, my prolapsed anus <laughs> Oh, hello, mother. You need to eat more fiber. <laughs> Ew. I don't have a prolapse anus. If I did, though, no one would tell me. No one would know. No one would know. Ew, does it, like, stick out of your underwear like that? I don't know. It's, I think they're supposed to be really painful, too. I made the mistake of Googling it once. No. I made the mistake of Googling it once. <laughs> Do it for yourself or don't. I'm on the part of the internet where people are like, don't Google this, and I don't. But back in my day, I was Googling. I've seen a lot of sites, but not in this current internet. There's a lot to see. Yeah, for sure. I don't even put like nudes on my phone because I shouldn't even say that out loud. Because now I'm thinking back. I'm like, there might be some. But my nudes are more like body dysmorphia checking. I'm just like checking to see what my body looks like. So if they got leaked, I'd be like, okay, you can. It's like my data. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I actually looked pretty skinny that day. Yeah, I just hope it wouldn't leak like a bad day where I had to take a photo of my body looks like to see and it's so bloated. That's the worst kind of black. Oh my God, I would get made fun of so bad. Like I I look like, um, dude, it's so bad. It's like that lower stomach bloat. I mean, ah, fupa, hello, bing bong, bing bong. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like very, oh my tits. The hormone-y section. Oh, I'm like, oh, very... A very, very orangutan body type, you know. Yeah. And the the photos <laughs> I take are always like, uh. oh my god. Uh, I haven't taken them in a while though. Yeah. I haven't taken them in a while though. But I should though. I should though. I gotta keep myself in check. I've been <gasps> consuming a lot. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I just read the weirdest book. Can I give you a thriller and thriller in under a minute? New segment. Okay. Thriller in under a minute. It's a minute. It's called the minute. Ryan's over us. What's going on? Are you having fun? I think this is awesome. Yeah. Do I look insane? I feel like I look insane. Oh, I feel like I look like <laughs> people are going to be like, is she okay? Yes. No. I mean, regular. Mm-hmm. Okay. The minute. I have one minute to give you, and you can skip one minute if you are about to read a book called Teacher. It's been in every airplane, airport. Um, fucking now I'm panicking. Now I can't talk because I'm worried about this minute. All right, hold on. It's a minute. It's a minute. All right, yeah, red leather, yellow leather. All right. All right, starting now. Wait, no, I'm not ready. Oh, okay. I didn't even say the name of the book. Oh, okay, go ahead, go ahead. All right. It's a minute. Okay, the thriller is called The Teacher. And it's been in every airport bookstore. I saw it on Goodreads. I was like, all right, let's just get it because I had just finished something and it was super dark. So I was like, all right, let's read this like, font was like this big Love it. one flight to Atlanta I was halfway through so it was a quick read I read it in two days there's a girl who goes to high school and she has a reputation because a teacher the year before got fired because of her relationship with the teacher but the girl tells us the readers she did not fuck that teacher but she did accidentally kill her dad <sighs> kind of unrelated but not really the guy who helped her hide her dad her alibi kind of is this guy named Hudson and he's at the school now and now she's at the school everyone kind of hates her because she sings he's a teacher fucker then she does start fucking a teacher that teacher that man also has a wife at the school who is a teacher okay so this young girl she gets involved with the teacher the male teacher she's fucking him he's like you're my soulmate blah 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 and then the man says her on the phone we have to stop this people are accusing us and he and he's like trust me if my wife didn't know about this we would be together so this deranged young girl because she's getting coerced into sex by an older man is like well I'll, I'll go confront the wife and tell her girl freaks out accidentally kills the wife okay kills the wife but the wife's still awake wow then the the guy comes the teacher comes he chokes the wife to death while the girl's gone so now who did who done it who done it because the, the woman's like oh, I'm awake and then he strangles her. okay so they bury the body they bury the body I'm definitely over a minute oh my God. but if you guys are on the edge of your seat keep yeah. listening if you guys hate spoilers then bleh. okay I spent you know six hours of my life reading this wow. to whittle it down to a minute and what is a minute we don't know Okay, so they bury the body. Okay. They bury the body. 
They bury the body in a pumpkin patch. They bury the body in a pumpkin patch. <laughs> the girl at her high school who's been bullying her, the young girl, comes to her and says, you need to go to the police. I've been fucking that guy too. And I knew you were fucking that guy because a poem fell out of your backpack and you said he wrote it for you, but he wrote it for me. Layers. Layers. They go to the cops and turns out that the, it's insane, the wolf, the wolf, sorry, I forgot I was on a podcast for a second. I saw you eating popcorn and I was like, what is that? Everyone listening is like, tell us! Or they're like, we don't give a fuck. I don't know if this story is making sense at all, but I'm trying to be more audio friendly. Luminary, we're trying to get a sponsorship by Luminary. <gasps> Actually, we're just trying to release the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Baby step. <laughs> One thing at a time. Look, I've got my Thomas Jefferson britches on now. All right. All I think it's time to declare our, our independence. <laughs> hey, John, get your ha get your Hancock in here. <laughs> well, I guess I will. Woo! That's my impression of John Hancock. Okay. Um, okay, so, okay, that was a commercial break. Back to a teacher. Now I have another th minute. I have another th minute. Body is buried, body is buried, body is buried. The girl is like, dude, I think you fucking choked her out. Like, he, she confronted the teacher. He's like, no, I didn't. Why would you think that? Then the girl's bully is like, I was fucking him too, blah, blah, blah. They go to the police. Turns out the wife is still alive and she got out. <laughs> She called this guy she's fucking at the shoe store. She mentioned him a couple times because she was cheating too. He was just cheating. It's like never I know, I know, I know. Yeah. She gets out of the grave. She calls a guy she's fucking, but he's also like in a relationship, he tells her. So she's like, just pick me up, please. And he tried to kill me. And he's like, are you going to go to the police? She's like, no, I want to haunt him. So she left like a pair of shoes from the pumpkin patch in his kitchen to like freak him out and to bring him back to the place. So he ends up back at the burial place. She dings him on the head, buries him alive. He was like, don't do this. She buried him alive. Wow. Eh. There's one more plot part that is actually off the rocker. Thriller in a minute. Should I not say it and let you guys read the whole book? It's really on the last two pages of the book. The last two pages of the book. The teacher and his teacher wife. Teacher wife is alive. Teacher man is dead. No one ever looked for him because everyone agreed he sucks ass anyway, even though they would look for his body and they would probably charge that woman. But I, I don't know. He tried to kill her. I don't know. Really weird stuff. <gasps> I hope I never get buried alive. Okay. Knock on wood. Knock on. Ah, there's no wood. Ah! Okay. Um, so here's an insane thing. The wife. <laughs> By the way, the wife knew he was fucking the student. That's why the, he called the girl and was like, we have to end it. Cause the wife was like, I know you're banging this girl. Last two pages of the book reveal that the woman, the, the teacher, the guy she's cheating with is a student. So they're all just like predators. Yeah. And it just ends there. Well, ends. he goes, the guy, his name is Hudson, who was the one who helped her get rid of the dad's body or her out, cover her for the dad. He works at a shoe store and the woman was banging a guy at the shoe store. That's how they tied it. Oh. Wow. Everything is connected. By but she was banging a student, so it's like, what? Depraved. What is that supposed? Is it supposed to be like? The chain continues. Like it could have even have not included that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know everyone wants to wrap up every loose end, mm -hmm. but you could have also have him been a college student. Oh, this, it's not college. It's high school. High school. It's high school. That's really fucked up. So the girl fucked the male teacher. The male teacher's wife was like, how fucking dare you? But she was having a I friend. think, what'd you say? But she was also having. With a student. Lock him up. What do you think? I mean, it's, it's all fake. It's just yeah, like a little Agatha Christie. It's like modern millennial Agatha Christie. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's my th minute take on the teacher. If you see it in the airport, send us a picture. Um, we'll post your photo. Um, shout out your airport, DFW. We've got LaGuardia. We've got JFK. We've got Chai or O'Hare. <gasps> we've got... Uh, should we do a different segment or give me one more... We can do a quick... Um, with the letter. 
What's okay. the letter? Reasons to call 911. Uh, oh, let, letter B. Oh, yeah. Give me a letter B. B. All right, we're doing a, we're doing a swift bonus round, Maddie Gories. Mm -hmm. Reason to call one, and we're saying you have to use letter B. Reason to call 911, broke my bone. <laughs> That's two. <laughs> <laughs> Things to get you fired. Um, butt cheeks out. <laughs> butt, 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 butt on display. <laughs> um, things to get you fired. Um, um, um brusqueness. Okay. <laughs> Um, being a bimbo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> Appetizer. Um, baked. Baked clams. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo chicken dip. Oh. <laughs> Buffalo wings. <laughs> Buffalo chicken tenders. <laughs> um, <th> Parada. <laughs> Next. Um, ways to kill time. Brushing my hair. <laughs> Obviously, I only do that, you know. Mm -hmm. um, babbling. Mm -hmm. Babbling. Buying a vape. Mm -hmm. Buying a burger. Billowing in the wind. <laughs> Things that make you smile. Bright days and bushy-eyed raccoons. <laughs> and birthday cake. And oh, what else makes me smile? <gasps> uh, um, birthdays and birth uh, Sound of music. Um, birthdays and birthdays and babies and bright Colored beavers, <laughs> um, bathing in bath water and mm, brushing your beavers' teeth, <laughs> mm, probing your asshole for bunnies and boobs. <laughs> Bees are a view of my beavered beans. <laughs> Sorry, the crossover did not go as intended. There, my brain is working a little bit slowly today. Uh, should we do a rap segment? Um, I thought Thrill Earth Minute was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Can I sit here? Yeah. I know. Is that annoying? I want to unbuckle your pants just a little bit. <laughs> Take them off, pull them down just a little bit. Get to quick, you a tough in a little bit. I don't know the words in a little bit. This is how we do in a bit of a beep, bad boo. These, <laughs> these are two different songs, aren't they? Isn't it? A little bit, and then this is how we do. Isn't it in a little bit a song? Oh yeah, they are two songs. <laughs> they sound the same. I was doing a remix. I'm I've been auditioning to be a wedding DJ. Ah. Uh. Per usual. <laughs> per usual. Per usual. You shoot me down, but I won't fall. <laughs> I am titanium. This time maybe I'll be bulletproof. <laughs> One more time. Like, I got this feeling on a summer day when you were born. I crashed my car into the bridge. I won't let it burn. I threw your shit into a bag and pushed it down the stairs. I crashed my car into a bridge. I don't care. Care, care, care. Oh, and I love you. Nah. Let's get the couples on the dance floor. Need you, honey, I love you. I do. That's more than you ever know. Scott and Amy, clap it up. And you know. Now I feel like I'm so far away. Am I bombing? No. Okay, Maddie, this chair is so comfortable. I know, it's so comfy, yeah. Um, give me a segment, give me a segment, give me a segment. Hey, hey, guys. Um, we have been sponsored by the, te the best brand in the world when it comes to topical anus sunning. <laughs> um, can, <laughs> can I get a reminder of what the brand name is called, Caroline, before I move forward? It's a, the sunning product that I'm supposed to promote for, for anal sunning. Um, it's called Bun... Bun Sun. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's called Bunsen burner. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's called Bunsen. Not to be confused with Bunsen, my favorite restaurant. It's called Bunsen burner. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys can get it. And all it does is it props open <laughs> your asshole. And so what you're going to want to do every day, peak sunrise. So we're talking 6 a.m. You're going to want to go outside. You know, I live in New York City. I've been doing it on my roof. <laughs> Not a lot of traffic there, but can be risky. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it props your asshole open. Uh, I'm actually illegally allowed to say asshole on the ad. And you'll just do that for 10 minutes a day. And the benefits include what, Caroline? Um, a tight, mm-hmm. tighterness to the asshole. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, uh, it bleaches a mm-hmm. lot of that. If you the put- bleaching, yeah. Mm-hmm. People have been talking about the bleaching effects. Mm-hmm. You don't see any hair. So if you are really into doggy style, if you are really into anal... <laughs> Yes, gays and some of my close female friends. (laughs) If you're very into anal, if you're very into just, you know, things looking clear cut and clean cut Mm -hmm. at the same time, down there, get yourself a Bunsen burner. Mm -hmm. And it actually singes a circle right around your asshole so people can see where to aim. <laughs> it's like a target. It's a target. Yeah, mm-hmm. it comes out the lo- the target logo. Right. So Stamp. Bunsen burner. Bunsen. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah. Mm-hmm. God, our first ad. Yeah. That was scary. I hope people buy the product. No, I think they will. Oh yeah. Use promo code prolapse. <laughs> I, got, I got a... That's why Bunsen called me is because of my prolapsed anus. Right. It, I posted... I did like a clip... I did a front facing video, but the face was the prolapse anus. <laughs> so he was like, rah, rah, rah. I captioned it. You know what I mean? You know what I hate about dating? You know what I mean? Just like yeah. walking, walking with my around. prolapse anus. <laughs> you know what I hate about dating? <laughs> wow. Well, for one thing, men <laughs> watch real again. Absolutely. What's going on? Are you being haunted? Yeah. By my own demons. <laughs> I should tell you I've got baggage. I should tell you baggage. Wine and beer. <laughs> name the movie. Name the show. Name uh, the movie. Name the show. Name the movie. Name the show. Wine and beer. Uh, what are I just saying from? The audience is screaming at home right now. Uh, I don't know. Rent. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Rent by heart. I right. think we should do a watch together. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll put it on Patreon. Mm -hmm. That doesn't exist yet for me. But pull through if I announce it. (laughs) Yeah! (laughs) I'm like, why does no one want to be a guest on my podcast? (laughs) Fuck. No one likes me. Do you really think so? What? I feel like Uh, if that's the case, this is still funny. (laughs) Mm, if that's the case, I'm so funny. All right, let's do a rap segment. Kick him out the classroom. I want to do a rap. You want to do a rap? Yeah, but tell me what to rap about. Um, I'm pretty much like all of UCB in one show. Right. Hey, let's move forward. Should I do a Herald? I never really got the concept of Herald, not going to lie. Improv, they're like, oh, find the game. I'm like, uh, you're gay. All right. All right, all right, all right. If you've never seen Rent, I'm a rapper about Rent. Wait, I'm nervous now. Oh. Oh, oh, we on the keys. Hey, Hamilton, but it ain't, cause it's rent. We in the 80s, 90s, walking around Manhattan with my best friends. They're kind of weird. One's a crossdresser, the other's her beard. I guess that's what you call her. Her name is Angel. He cheats out with Tom Collins. And they go out and about and they want to have a different life on a different coast. They want to go to Santa Fe, but they can't afford it. One's a professor adjuncted at NYU. The other plays his drums every day in the sidewalk. But they seem pretty happy. The unhappy ones are the ones with AIDS. That's a big part of the story. Hey! So back in the 80s and back in the 90s, there was a little virus around. It's called 80s. 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 That's why they call it the 80s, right? The person who thinks 80s means it's named after AIDS. <laughs> I'm like, no, 80. No, it's, it's, I thought it was, you know, like the roaring 20s, yeah. The 20s. Right. right. Roaring. I thought it was because people were 20 years old. <laughs> Wait, you're blowing my mind, brother. 
this beat has a little bit of a noodle to it. Hey, 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 it? hey. No, keep it. We in the studio. We in the studio. We in the studio. We in the studio. Dave Matthews. In red, some people gotta take their drugs to say their T cells are low. There's a guy named Mark, he's a videographer. He doesn't have AIDS, but he is pretty depressed. And that's all I can say. There's a love story between Roger and me, May. <laughs> they take care of each other because they're both unwell, but they love each other. She almost dies, but doesn't go to hell. She sees Angel and Angel. And Mimi's like, she look good. <laughs> Everyone laughs. They laugh. Benny downstairs wants to sell the building for Internet Cafe. <laughs> and they say, they say, they say, what happened to Benny? What happened to his heart? And the ideas he once pursued. <laughs> and Benny goes, and the owner of that lot next door <laughs> has a right to do with it as he pleases. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jesus. The rent, you're wasting your time. We're broke, and you broke your word. This is absurd. There is one way you won't have to pay. I knew it. Next door of the Homosaba R2C, and now that the block is rezoned, our dreams can become a reality. <laughs> so Benny <laughs> is trying to is trying to sell the building there, like squatting in basically <laughs> and he's like dude just let it but they're like no we're gonna do a protest I didn't even um, mention Maureen and Joanne Maureen. in Rent two lesbians even though Maureen used to date Mark but now Mark's mm -hmm. with Joanne right. and so they do a song called Tango Maureen oh, where yes. Mark and Joanne they, the Tango Maureen <laughs> Tango Johnny, it's a sight slippy merry go round. Na, 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 na. She's like, you're wrong. And then they realize, oh shit, I'm with Maureen. But Maureen's crazy. She's like a visual artist. So they do a protest because Benny, does no one want to hear the retelling of Rent? People are I'm, yawning. I'm seeing people yawn. You're yawning. I'm hearing people yawn. Should I do a new beat? There's a new feature on the podcast where you can hear of people as they listen, and I'm hearing people yawning. <laughs> so wake up, people. Wake up, people. I'm doing a rap to wake everyone up. Give me a different topic. Um, hey, hey. This is a weird one. Thanks, Ben Sounds. Um, <laughs> is this a beat? I think it gets faster. Hey, 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 I'll hey. I'll give you a topic. Hey, we got royalty music in the house. It's the kind of tunes that make me want to shout. It's happy for everyone, even if you're in an ad for Old Navy. <laughs> hey. Deals this summer, starting at $10.99. Bring the whole family. Don't forget the dog. And then it's like they're spinning around with their like cargo shorts. Real. This summer, the rugby shirt is back. <laughs> Only at Old Navy you and partner to... stores. <laughs> when I found out Banana Republic owns Old Navy, I was like, fuck all y'all. Yeah. Suck on my fucking cock and balls. No, they try to that make blew it my mind. Different. When you're younger and you find out brands who own everything, and like they're just processing it all out of the scene. Yeah, yeah, they're all variations. I know, I know. The hey, so all right, give me a topic. Give me a topic. Give me a topic. Oh, um, I just had one. Party snacks. Hey, 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 hey! Welcome to my party. I got snacks. I got Reese's, I got M&M's and Kit Kats. Pull through, it won't go far until you see a full on candy bar. I like to give love at my parties. So people like me, I give a lot and no one appreciates it. Snacks at the party, yeah. We got chips and soda, yeah. Turn around, behind you is a fridge full of beer. Come on, aren't we all queer? <laughs> no, wait, no, I didn't mean that. Wait, stop, no, seriously, I didn't mean what I said. Seriously, don't fucking touch me, dude. God, get out of my house. My mom's house, whatever. Party snacks, party snacks, party snacks, party snacks, some brands, Nabisco, General Mills, Lay's. I think that's all are owned by the same place. My favorite party snack is Chex Mix and mini Oreos. You can eat a million. 
think I bombed that one. No, I bombed that one. You can do a different one. Okay. You know what song I love? Um, well Dressed Man by, maybe look it up. Maybe, who's that by? Play it, ZZ Top see. or something. Well Dressed Man. <laughs> I love anything with a driving guitar line, mm. chord progression, flames. Flames. Their pants, you know their jeans are so taut on those tight 80s bum cheeks. <laughs> a tight 80s man's bum cheeks. You ever see a documentary? When, oh my God, I was yeah. watching the 30 for 30 documentary about the Bills on Netflix. Oh, really? They show the players how they look now. You know, because the Bills went to the Super Bowl four years in a row. Oh, 91 yeah. 91 to 95 or 90 to 94 oh, or something. That. Yeah, drama. drama. Four years in a row, they lost. Yeah. Mm -mm. Believe it or not. Mm -mm. Believe it or not. Mm -mm. Anyway, they show the players back then and now they're like, you know, crinkly old men. Yeah. It's crazy how men age. Let's go to FUPA. Okay. Let's go now. Okay. Hey, we're gonna do a little bit of the hot. Can I move again? Yeah. Oh. Baby, this is what you came for. Lightning strikes every time she moves. Yeah. And everybody's watching her while she's looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> my, my tongue touched the mic. My tongue touched the mic. Oh. Look, I'm like a black comedian. Oh. oh, that's funny. That's funny. And yeah, I love when like they'll have like a towel and they'll use it as a um, prop for like one of their jokes. Yeah, yeah. She at home, she go, get the towel. I go, got it right here, sister. Because I ain't want any of that semen for you to take. Or whatever. I don't know. I made that up. I have a lot of black friends too. I have a lot of black colleagues. I have a lot of black colleagues. I don't have a lot of friends. I'm realizing lately. Friends, period? Yes. Okay. Me either. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's kind of easier. To not have friends? Yeah. <laughs> Dude. When you when you whittle it down to like five friends, it's so easy. Yeah. I can like, I can make every plan mm -hmm. that we make. Mm -hmm. But um, maybe I'm a loser. Sure, I meet a lot of people all on the road, but you know. You leave one city, you'll be you're like, I'll be back here in twelve to eighteen months, maybe. <laughs> if you make the cut. Mm -hmm. Cause there's a lot of clubs out there. Okay. Fan clubs. <laughs> fan clubs, Maddie Smith fan club. <gasps> Maddie Smith subreddit. Put us on the subreddit, you guys. Let's get it charged up. I want it to be as active as the R slash white people Twitter. <laughs> All right, give me a fuba. All right. Okay. Hello. Someone is calling. Hold on. <gasps> Hi, you reached the FUPA hotline. How can I help you? Me and my wife are building a new house and we ended up having to stay at the in-laws house for like 10 months at the end while it was getting finished, right? So my father-in-law, he didn't ever really like me. It's whatever. But anyway, I'm being pissed on the floor and like on the toilet seat and my mother-in-law, my wife, my father-in-law, they're all blaming me, right? Pissing on his seat, pissing on his seat, pissing on the floor, not cleaning it up, this and that. And I just keep getting yelled at for that. And the whole time, I think he's doing that shit on purpose to try and get me in trouble. Uh, like I'm not respecting the, the house or something while our house is being built. And I can't tell him that I don't even piss in the toilet. I piss in the sink this whole time where they brush their teeth and shit, right? But I can't tell him that because that's even worse than accidentally pissing on the toilet seat or on the floor, right? It's bullshit. I can't tell him. Because I want to tell him that, so now I'm telling you. Piss on the fucking sink. It's better for your back. <laughs> you don't got to worry about pissing on the floor. It's rewarding in many ways. Try it out. Okay, talk to you later. <laughs> Let me get the facts straight before I go off, before I go puff, before I go puff. Um, so he, people are pissing on the floors. Mm -hmm. We don't know who's pissing on the floors. Right. And he's saying, I don't piss on the floors. I don't even piss in the toilet. Yeah. I piss in the sink. And yes. for what reason did he say that he pisses in the sink? It's better for your back. Is that what's going on? Oh my God. So maybe he's a fat guy? Maybe. But I don't know. How would it be better for your back to... But maybe he thinks... You know, cool. I don't know. Do you have to bend uh, down? To pee as a man? Are we missing something? Am I missing something, Ryan? Local man? No. Yeah. I don't think you have to bend down. Yeah. Frankly, so sink yeah. versus toilet, what would be the benefit for the back? You're talking about his 
large cock. Yeah, his large <laughs> cock. Like, his, his, there's so much piss coming out of his large <laughs> cock that it's like pulling on his lower back muscles. Yeah. And he's like, oh, like his cock's like, it's like, it's like an oil. It's like a truck of oil just like pulling. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I can't say, it like pulls his lower back. And so he has to do the sink where he props it. Oh, like he slabs it down. <laughs> Like a big like slab of like a turkey deli meat, like a big slab. Mm -hmm. And then he can piss and it's better for his back. So I could see how it would be better for your back <laughs> if your dick was the size of a large dumbbell. <laughs> uh, based on my collective findings, based on my data personally, and I have a high body count, I do not think that is true. Mm -hmm. Not to be the Andrew Tate of women, <laughs> but you probably don't have that slab of a dick. Mm -hmm. So I would say... You don't really need to pee in sinks. Right. But that's his little his little confession. Yeah. Is that dude, you guys think I'm peeing on the floors? You fucking wish. I have no idea. I'm pissing right where you wash your fucking face. Yeah. I think that's worse than like stepping in piss. Like All right, well good luck. Sounds like that family is toxic as fuck. Yeah. So that's definitely not something I deal with on my with on my day to day okay. basis, but good luck to you. Sounds like Sticky situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ready? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello. Thank you for calling the FUBA hotline. I used to have a F buddy for every day of the week. And this one week in particular, I remember, schedule conflicts left and right. Nobody could come see me. I couldn't go see anyone. And finally, one night opens up and two of them can uh, come see me. So I let one come over and he was in and out. Then I took a nice everything shower once again, called up the second guy to finish me off for the rest of the night. Mm. And I still think about that night till this day. Because I think that's how you should do it. If you're a single woman with a tight schedule and an even tighter, <laughs> hey! get on with that because it was so rewarding. And I don't feel bad about it one bit. Why would you? Do I talk to you, one of them anymore? Nope. Good. Because that day was magical and it was all about me. Is that my mom? <laughs> Thank you for calling. That was uplifting. That's what they should tell girls in sex ed. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they should tell girls in sex ed. It's like, it's all about you, biatch. Because mm -hmm. so many men have walked their little paws all over me. Their little paws all over me. They need to, they need to encourage young women to be confident and... To use men, lol. That's what they need to. That's what yeah. they really need. What it needs to come down to, like, yeah, you can do that shit. Mm -hmm. You can be emotionless too if you want to. Mm -hmm. Guess what? And if he doesn't want to, doesn't matter. The next guy will want to. Yeah. Someone cancels, two more guys come over. Get your everything shower in, whatever that means these yeah. days. I think it's just a shower. Yeah. The girls on TikTok will name anything. Mm -hmm. They're like morning, morning toothbrush. Yeah. I'm like, mm, yeah. <laughs> it's a toothbrush. It's called what you do. Yeah. Morning breakfast. There's this thing on TikTok. It's called morning breakfast. Um, <laughs> it's when you eat breakfast in the morning. Yeah, what do you think? I've never... Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, the girls are all over it. Yeah. So I say good for her. If I can rock and roll with that dick. Mm -hmm. Personally, I don't like enough men to have that large of a rotation yeah. in my life. It's a lot of work. You really... Yeah. Yeah. And um, I feel unsafe around a lot of men. Yeah. LOL. <laughs> um, weird energy. Um, but that is also because I meet a lot of people on the road who know me in the context of I'm Maddie Smith and I'm on stage. Mm -hmm. I don't go out a lot to bars and stuff and meet men. <laughs> so I don't know what it is like even out there, but that just comes from my perspective. And we'll do one more call. One more call, all right. Hey, thank you one more time for calling the FUBA hotline. I have a slutty Bumble confession to make. Bumble. After I filed for divorce, it was my time to shine. And I mean, I had a many companies come over to keep me company. Anyway, uh, 
this guy came over and we're in the middle of it. And uh, he's on top. But I wanted to check the time. I didn't have my watch. I didn't have my phone. So I asked Alexa what time it was during. And she goes off and he stops mid thrust going, what the fuck was that? And I said, that was my Alexa. And he's like, who's Alexa? He had no idea what this Amazon device was. So I followed that up with, do you know what an Amazon device is? And he had no idea. And mind you, he, he's still inside of me. And then that's when he confesses to me that um, he just got out of prison a few days ago. And I'm like, oh, yeah, well, hmm, how long have you been in there and what for? And he said, over oh, some Amazon bullshit. Echo's been around I a long time. Yeah. Didn't do and blah, blah, blah. Like, it was 10 years ago. Wait, well, I froze up. I let the guy finish. I even let him take a shower. And then we hugged goodbye, and I ghosted him. And immediately looked up his info, found his mug shot. Found him. He was in for 11 years for attempted murder, mugging a woman. And shooting at her in the innocent, innocent bystander that was trying to save her. Anyway, that was a wake-up call for myself. And Absolutely. I met people in public after that. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't know what the fucking Amazon people was. I, I swear to God, this really happened. Right. Thank you. Got my product money. Right. Talk to you later. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. See, these are stories that I'm hearing more often as I approach 30. Too. <laughs> I feel as though I'm hearing more and more like I've I've heard one plus story of someone dating someone who, and found out after they broke up that he was in jail and not knowing what an Amazon device is is hilarious. I know. They don't got echoes at Attica. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Alexa, uh, put on some hard beats. <laughs> So I can do pull-ups. <laughs> hey Alexa, read me uh read me Moby Dick. That's what every every movie that has someone in jail either like reading one. He's my favorite. Um okay, that is hilarious. Didn't know what an echo was. And um fucking oh attempted God. murder. Yeah. Cuckoo bananas. Attempted murder. Wait, can, I want to end on the funniest story that I retold my dad the other day. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I have to transition to each new <laughs> setting. Maybe I wasn't ever meant to have a guest. Maybe you're meant to do a, the solo thing. But then... But you can, if somebody is available and wants to come on... Maybe I only have guests if they request. Casting call. Yeah. I'll do guests if they ask. I'll, anyone who asks can be on. Yeah. <laughs> so I remembered a funny story this weekend lodged in my memory. You guys are going to think I'm the stupidest person in the world after I tell you this story. But in my defense, I was 16, maybe 17. You are 16 going on 17. What is a girl to do? You are a Nazi and I don't know it. I want to say to Dulu. Remember that twist of the sound of music? Yeah. Nazis. Hey. Yeah, yeah. What was his name? Rolf? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen it in years. I have to give it a rewatch. Same. And Mary Poppins. It's so cute. So you guys know. You guys know. You guys know. You guys know. Okay. This is in my defense before I tell the story. You guys know how we always talk about growing up. They didn't teach us about taxes. Mm -hmm. They didn't teach. Well, I know. I know how to calculate a hypotenuse. I can't do taxes. I don't know how to use a credit card. I don't know what credit is. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to build credit. I don't know anything about blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that, for me, leaked into car stuff. I didn't know anything about my car. Mm -hmm. I knew it was, like, in my name or whatever. I knew there was, like, stuff in the glove compartment. Mm -hmm. My dad would be like, put this in the glove compartment. I don't know what it was. I didn't know, like, what car insurance was. I didn't know, like, the differences in insurance. I thought insurance was just one-all, catch-all, mm -hmm. LOL. So no one told me in high school what insurance is. Is that wrong? I'm trying to defend myself because it's the most embarrassing story in the world. <laughs> this is the most embarrassing story in the world. And 
Here's how it goes. When I was in high school, I had a Toyota Corolla, 2003. And, dude, I messied it the fuck up. Tim Hortons cups everywhere. McDonald's, uh, Mighty Taco, which is a Buffalo chain. Mess, like, you would sit in the passenger seat, your feet would disappear in garbage. It'd be like you're at the beach in the, in the, you know, waiting and your feet disappear, but your feet are disappearing in cans of soda <laughs> and, and rusty bowls of oatmeal, like uh-huh. bad, <laughs> bad. And everyone drove in it because I was the first one of our friends to drive. So suck my dick, bitch. Mm. You fucking clean it up then. <laughs> but then everyone else got cars and I was like, why does anyone want to drive with me? Um, maybe because Steph has an Audi. <laughs> oh. Well, should I meet you there? Yeah, meet us there. All the girls are in one car. I'm following them. I lost you two days later. Hey, sorry, we just got back. (laughs) No problem. JK, that never really happened. I kind of discluded myself. I'm an emo. So I'm driving home one night, and I can't remember if I was home from college, aka I'd be 18 or 19, or if I was in high school, then I'd be 16 or 17. Red light comes on transit road. which is a big road in Clarence where I'm from. Red light comes. Oopsies. I rear end a guy. You know, you look up from schmecting while schmiving. There's a car right in front of you. Okay, I I hit the brakes as quick as I could. And I hit the guy. Dude, I was 16. Stop looking at me like that. Or 19. Mm -hmm. Anywhere between there. I was a young child. What? Have you guys (laughs) never rear ended someone? Uh, Okay. No, I've like done like side... Things. I've done side things. Yeah. I was getting pulled over when I first had a car. One time I got a double. I ran a light and, uh, or I ran a stop sign and I was speeding. <laughs> Dude, had to go to court for that. Um, I got pulled over in the city of Rochester trying to drive someone home from a concert and they got me for a bunch of shit. Really? I was in a really bad area of Rochester. I don't have a car anymore, so that's why. Not that's why, but, you know, I live in New York. I can legally get a car. Do not think that that's what I'm saying. But I have totaled both of my Corollas. So that's what I'm saying. Hmm. I, there was a second Corolla. Oh, is that the one that I... Yeah, it was gold. I was like, oh, it's tan. Yeah. And silver and gold. Sil- I sang to my dad, silver and gold. And he goes, silver and gold Corollas totaled in the lot. <laughs> <laughs> Because I totaled the first Corolla, and that was actually an accident. I, it was the ice in Rochester. I slid. Could not Ooh. control it. S- s- snow tires not existent. Like, tires were had the wear and tear of a glazed donut. Just slid right into the guy. His car was fine, which means my car was just rotted to its core because it immediately crunched up immediately. Mm. I said immediately twice. That's how, that's how fucking severe I'm saying. I, my dad could probably send me photos of the crash, but I totaled that shit. Then my dad got me a tan Corolla. Then I brought it to New York City and made it through a couple neighborhoods in New York City. But I was getting parking tickets daily. (laughs) (laughs) Daily. (laughs) I would drive home from uh, like a micro show, get home at 2 a.m., nowhere to park. I have to wake up for work in six hours. I'm parking in front of a hydrant. See ya. (laughs) I'm sorry. There's nowhere to park. Yeah. Or a meter spot that like, I'll just deal with it tomorrow. So when I told him my car, I was like, sick. Yeah. We don't have to pay those. Right. They still get you. (laughs) Fucking loan shark came to me and my dad for multiple parking tickets and for the fucking, um, you know, when you get a toll and they take your photo, they send you a bill. Yeah. But I was moving so much that I never got the bills. Nice. (laughs) So they racked up to like so much money. This is me in my 20s. This is not me anymore. Wow. And a lot of it is because I don't have a car, okay? <laughs> I improved a lot because I no, made things easier. Yeah, yeah. Car is too much paperwork for me. You yeah. guys have seen me. I can't handle. I lose checks. Like when book when clubs owners give me checks for my weekends, I lose them. Do not give me that. Do not give me anything. Do not give me anything. So here's my dumbass story from high school or college. Hit a guy. He was like, it's a rental. <laughs> I'm, we're definitely going to have to exchange info. And we didn't. And he sent me a letter that said, or his, my insurance sent me, his insurance sent me a letter that said, you owe us $600 for a scratch on a rental. Fuck you. Oh. And I thought it came like six months later, you know, because everything processes so slowly. Mm-hmm. I was like, doo doo doo. Nice. Thought it was gone. Then I see the envelope in the mail. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. I have no money. 
I had to call my dad. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, father. What is good in the freaking hood? How are you? Dude, I am so good too. <gasps> so remember August? Remember August? Yeah, it was this year. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's a month. I was driving once. One time I was driving and a guy, he, his car stopped moving. <laughs> I, I don't know why. I don't know why. And mine wouldn't stop. His car stopped and mine wouldn't stop. It was a weird like physics thing where mine hit his because my car like wouldn't stop. <laughs> anyway, can I bomb you for 500? <laughs> <laughs> so in this situation, the guy did end up getting me. It was my first little crash with yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah. By the way, there was no snow on this time. <laughs> this time, you know, this was a clear day, mm -hmm. clear like September day. Do 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 do. <laughs> crashing in your car, crashing in your car. Do, 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 do. And I remember when I hit that old man, and he said, <laughs> "Can we change insurance?" And I said, so I gave him my info. I gave him everything in the glove box, and he's like, "I'll take your insurance, your registration, blah blah blah." Gave him everything in the glove box. Give him all my stuff. And he goes, he holds up a card and he goes, this is your health insurance. Uh, uh oh. I gave him my health insurance because I didn't know like what even was in the glove box. I thought it was like a safety, like health check thing. Isn't that so embarrassing? I only brought up that memory recently and it shook me to my, Ugh, I think I hid it for many years. <laughs> I didn't even tell my dad. I told my sister on the phone. She cackled. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Just because you're Mensa almost. Don't even. I was like, oh. He's like, get your car insurance. I was like, I was like, duh. I was like, okay. I scuttled into my car. Dug through the glove compartment. By the way, glove compartment's filled with random items. Finally, I think I found it. Or at least he found it because I obviously got billed up my ass. By the way, $600 when you're 19 is a lot of money. Or... My age, 32. But back then, scraping. And we would go to the bars in college. I would take like $20 at a time from the ATM. Take my balance down from like 100 to 175, 25 because of the ATM fee. Like so low on money. Oh, so stressful. Everything was so stressful until like a year ago. I'm not going to lie. You ever go on a school trip with your friends? My friend, they always were like in the gift shops buying everything. Like my mom gave me like $2. Yeah. Ridiculous. Hey guys, come see me live. Um, you can see that in the tour room of the Madhouse. And if you want to get to the tour room, it's maddysmithcomedy.com. I'm coming to Austin, if that means anything. <laughs>